Australopithecines is the name given to all the members of the genus Australopithecus. So there are different species of Australopithecus like Australopithecus robustus, Boasi, Africanus, Afarensis, so on and so forth. So Australopithecines is the collective name given to all the species under the genus Australopithecus. So please write Australopithecines. This is a collective name given to all the members all the members of the genus Australopithecus. Australopithecines are the forerunners are the forerunners or predecessors of forerunners or predecessors of the genus Homo. So before Homo came into existence it was Australopithecus isn't it. So genus Homo you have species like Habilus, Erectus, Neanderthal, Sapiens etc. So these are the forerunners of the genus Homo. So here the genus is Australopithecus. So see please please write the first fossil of Australopithecus was discovered by Raman Dart in 1924 at a place known as Tong, a limestone quarry site in South Africa. See the fossil is consisting of skull and mandible of a 15 year old boy uh, of a 15 year old boy and named this fossil as Tong's boy fossil which is technically Australopithecus Africanus these please write these Australopithecines are known as southern apes of Africa you get to my point see these Australopithecines are classified into two types gracile forms and robustus forms See these gracile forms include Australopithecus Africanus, Australopithecus afarensis, Australopithecus anamensis, Australopithecus ramidus. Robustus forms are you can call all these as Paranthropus. Robustus forms are Paranthropus. You can write Australopithecus Robustus or you can write Paranthropus Robustus. Australopithecus Bosi. Australopithecus Aethiopithecus. Or you can call Paranthropus Robustus or Paranthropus Bosi or so on so forth. All gracile forms are these. Robustus forms are also known as Paranthropus. All these Australopithecines belong to Pleopleistocene. Pleopleistocene. So they originated in Pleocene and survived during Pleistocene epochs. And that is why they are, these are known as Pleopleistocene fossils. Selecting the right optional subject for the UPSC exam can be a daunting task, especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt. But what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference? That element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IES Academy. Our Anthropology Optional Foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by N.P. Kishore sir. 
ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks, such as Akanksha Singh, 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Chaudhary Shipra, Vijay Kumar, 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Ajink Kumar, who cracked UPSC in his first attempt, and many more. With daily feedback and structured practice, you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination. With our focused feedback and structured practice, you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.